I'm so impressed and so happy for Avi Loeb that he's found possibly extraterrestrial, interstellar spherals in his quest under the Pacific Ocean. We went to the Pacific Ocean uh, to find the remnants of uh, an interstellar meteor, a meteor that was moving too fast to be bound to the sun based on uh, US government satellite data. And uh, we went there and we found indeed the concentration of uh, molten droplets from the surface of the object when it was exposed to the fireball uh, that uh, surrounded it uh, as a result of its friction with air. And uh, we found more spherules, more of these molten droplets along the meteor path. Uh, it was a very challenging task. Uh, we are talking about particles that are uh, the size of a grain of sand, uh, less than a millimeter, across a region of seven miles when the ocean depth is more than a mile. But we managed to bring home uh, more than 700 of them. And uh, over the past two months at Harvard University, we used the best instruments that the world has to offer to figure out their composition. And guess what? Uh, we are able to demonstrate that they are from outside the solar system. But there's two big questions that nobody that I can tell on the internet is actually asking. Question number one, who found the meteorite and how did they know that it was interstellar? And fascinating question number two, what exactly is a meteoric spheral and how did they form these intriguing spheres of iron came from our garden here in France. So today, pot pickers, let's look at the mystery of the interstellar object in the Pacific Ocean, how it got there, where it came from, how did they know it was not just a rock, and what exactly are these ferals that Avi Loeb found, and how do they form? Affirmative, we have uh, spectrum lines. HDTV has acquired. What you're seeing here has never been seen before. This is how Space Command track incoming objects. What we're seeing here is a spectacular re-entry of a rocket stage, but this is exactly how Avi Loeb's asteroid was tracked by the US Space Command. There's a huge burst. And why was it of such interest? Because it did not match any known parameters. It was going too fast. It was not burning up. It was not a nuclear warhead. It was not a lump of rock. It was strange. And that's why Avi Loeb set out on his undersea quest, because this object was interstellar. So let's try and answer the second big question. Why did Avi Loeb find spheres or spherules from an interstellar meteor? Well, the object approaches Earth, enters our upper atmosphere and heats up. Most of it is vaporized, but what does survive the re-entry melts into perfect spheres tiny droplets containing all the elements in the object. So what has Avi Loeb found? Well, he's found an amalgam, an alloy, a strange collection of known elements that don't exist normally together here on Earth. There are no aerospace or space alloys which contain this selection of elements. But you and I know that strange collections of odd elements can form metamaterials, materials that have unique properties to attenuate the electromagnetic spectrum. Stealth aircraft are covered in them. We now have metamaterials that can interfere with light. So this raises an intriguing question. Do Avi Loeb's unique spherules reveal a technological possibility from an alien race. 
or are they just a random collection of elements from deep space? I think we should experiment with this unique chemical composition. Maybe it will reveal a unique way of building a new craft, or even interfacing with known physics in a unique way. And that's exactly what astrochemistry does. In my opinion, that might be what David Grush, the UAP whistleblower, stumbled upon. Genuine interstellar metamaterial research. I love asking big questions for you, the kind of things that the media ignore. The mysteries of the universe, UAP questions, interstellar craft at the bottom of the ocean, all needs you. Social media interactive science. Get involved, become a patron, join my science club and share your knowledge for the common good. Because the truth is out there.